Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to export and import your WordPress blog content. Specifically, I'll show you how to migrate your blog posts, pages, categories, tags, and images from one WordPress blog to another. This quick and easy step-by-step -step tutorial is for anyone who has an existing self-hosted WordPress.org blog, and they wanna move all of its content into a new and separate WordPress.org blog. Now, there may be various reasons why you wanna move your blog content from one site to another, but this video will show you how to save your blog's content by exporting it and then importing that very same content to your new blog. This ensures that all of your hard work will be preserved and you won't lose any blog content if you decide to switch domains or web hosts. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, comment, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Your support helps me keep my channel filled with new blogging tutorials, and as a subscriber, you'll be first to know when my new videos are live. So, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be exporting this WordPress.org blog content to a brand new WordPress.org blog. These are two separate domains with two separate installations of WordPress. And I'm gonna show you how to easily migrate all of the content to this brand new blog. And as you can see, it's a fresh installation of WordPress that's using the default 2019 theme. And then if we visit the dashboard, you can see that it only has one post and that's the default Hello World post. And if we go to the pages, there are only a few pages. And if we visit our media library, you'll see that it's empty. So let's go ahead and change that and bring all of our content over to this blog. So I'm gonna go back to the original blog that I wanna export the content from. And if you're brand new to all of this, think of exporting as leaving and importing as entering. So when we export this blog's content, we're gonna save it to a file and then import that file to our new blog. And let me show you how easy that is to do. So first, let's visit the blog that we wanna export the content from, and then you'll wanna to go to your WordPress dashboard. Then on the left-hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over Tools and click on Export. And this will bring you to the WordPress Export Manager. This is where you'll select the exact content that you want to export. Now by default, it will export all of your blog's content, which includes your posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. But you do have the option to get specific on what you want to export if you only need to export one item, like just your posts. However, for this tutorial, we're gonna export all of the content. So make sure that that is selected right there. And then click the Download Export File button. And this will begin exporting your blog content and will create an XML file that you'll save to your computer, which we'll use a little later on to import to the new blog. And there we go. You can see that the XML file has been created and saved to my computer. And again, this is the file that we'll use to import all of the content to your new blog. So once we have the file, let's head over to our new blog and then you'll wanna visit the WordPress dashboard again. Then on the left-hand side of the screen, hover your mouse over Tools, and this time select Import. And this will bring you to the WordPress Import Manager. This is where you'll have the option to choose from a handful of systems to import from, and it's where you'll install the WordPress Importer. This is the tool we'll use to import the XML file. So we obviously want to import from WordPress, so click the Install Now link where it says WordPress. And after a few seconds, you'll get a notification that the importer has been successfully installed and it's ready to use. So click the Run Importer link to get started. Then next, this is where you'll upload the XML file that contains all of your original blog content that we downloaded a few minutes ago. And it's pretty straightforward. Simply click the Choose File button and then find the XML file I know it looks kind of weird, but that's the file that you want. And then just double check that you have the right file. And we do. And then go ahead and click the upload file and import button. And the next screen is the final step to assign the authors and import your blog's attachments. So first you'll wanna assign the author of your blog post content. By default, 
it will keep the original author from the old blog. But if you have a new author on the new blog, you'll want to assign it here by clicking the drop down and selecting the new author. This will ensure that your imported blog posts will say that they are authored by the new author from your new blog. Next is the import attachment section and you'll want to select this if you want your blog's images to come over. So check that box next to where it says download and import file attachments and then click the submit button to start the import process. Now depending on the file size it may take a few minutes for the import to go through but when it's done you'll get a notification letting you know that the import was successful and it's all done. Perfect, super easy. All right, so let's check this out. So if we go to our posts, you'll see that all of our posts have transferred over. The same thing goes for our images. If we visit the media library, all of the images have come over as well. And then if we go to our pages, they've all successfully imported to the new blog and our categories and tags are there as well. Then if we visit the blog, you'll see that the imported blog content along with the tags, categories, and images is intact and beautifully displayed on your new blog. This saves you a lot of work whenever you're building a new blog and it ensures that the content that you put a ton of time and effort into is preserved. Now you can begin to build and design your new WordPress blog. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. As always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.